When we're trying to classify matter, we can classify it into different groupings. So remember, matter is anything that has mass and occupies space, which is essentially everything around us. We can classify that further into pure substances and mixtures. So pure substances are things that have only one type of component present. Mixtures, we have a combination of two or more co components. And those two or more components are uh, originally pure substances. So what is a pure substance? There's three different ways we can classify a pure substance. One is an element, which means that it consists of um, something on the periodic table, just one type of, of atom. If we look at compounds, we can have pure compounds if they have elements attached to each other, two or more different elements. But if, it, if your sample only contains that compound, it is a pure substance. And we can have a pure substance that are molecules made of two or more um, elements that are attached to each other. So we can have molecular elements. When we're talking about mixtures, again, these are two or more originally pure substances that are mixed together. These get classified further at, depending on how they are mixed. So if they are mixed very evenly and consistent and the composition is the same throughout, it's a homogeneous or homogeneous mixture. If the consistency and the mixture is not consistent throughout the, the sample, then it is what we call a heterogeneous mixture. So let's look at some examples in the way that we can tell. So if we have just one, t one atom with no connections between them, we know that it is an element. Also know that we can find it it's an element if we can find it on the periodic table. Compounds, there are lots of different compounds we can have, but notice how it is the same thing over and over. Okay, so this is a pure substance because it is the same type of compound repeated over and over. Okay, so molecules, remember, are two or more elements. So it could be an element that is attached to itself, and this can also be classified as just an element because it's the same thing. This example would be N2. So because it's two nitrogen attached to each other, it is a molecule, but it is also an element because it's just nitrogen. Or we could have compounds because molecules can be compounds compounds can be molecules as well mixtures okay notice for a homogeneous or homogeneous depending on how you prefer it's evenly mixed so we have different types of compounds but they are mixed together very evenly if it is heterogeneous, there is a difference. If we took a sample in different places, we would end up with different, differing amounts of our components. So if we sampled over here, we would end up with a different uh, amount of carbon dioxide and oxygen than if we sampled over on the top part of our portion of our sample. So it's not evenly mixed. It's your turn to try and classify these substances. How would you classify them? Pause the video and make your classifications. Let's start with oil and water. So there are two different types of 
compounds present. Because there's two different types, this is going to be a mixture. Now we need to decide what type of mixture. Well, because they are not evenly dispersed throughout each other, the oil is more towards the top, the water is more towards the bottom, this would be a heterogeneous mixture. How about copper? Well, copper, it's the same atom repeated over and over again. So that would make copper an element. Another way to tell is by looking at the periodic table and copper can be found on the periodic table as Cu. Sugar, although they are more complicated compounds. Sugar is the same compound repeated. So that makes this a pure substance because the different atoms are attached to each other and there's multiple of the same compound. So this would be a pure substance and it would be a compound or a molecule. How about soft drink? Let's consider the case where there is no ice. So we have different compounds in our soft drink. We have sugar, we have water, we have carbon dioxide. They are evenly mixed throughout. That would make this, because there's different compounds, it's a mixture. Because they're evenly distributed, it is homogeneous or homogeneous. Now, if we take the case where we consider the ice, now our sample would be not evenly distributed because the ice would contain more water than the rest of the soft drink. And so then with the ice considered, it would be a heterogeneous mixture. Let's look at another way that we can classify our matter. Can it be separated by physical means? This is taking into consideration physical changes or physical properties that we can use to separate our sample. So if we cannot separate it by physical means, such as filtering it or boiling it, evaporating it, then it is a pure substance if it cannot be separated. If we can separate it by physical means, then it is a mixture, combination of two or more different pure substances. Can we separate it by chemical means? So can we use chemical properties or chemical changes to, to separate it? Can we undergo chemical reactions in order to get our substances to separate? If we can't, then it must be an element. If we can separate it by chemical means, then it is a chemical compound or, chemical mo or, or a molecule. Is it consistently mixed throughout? So now we're going to look at our mixtures that can be separated by physical means. Is it consistently mixed throughout? Yes, that means it's soluble. It dissolves into another substance. If it is not consistently mixed throughout, it means it's not soluble or insoluble and does not dissolve. What are some physical means of separation? Well, we talked about filtration, evaporation. We can use boiling point. 
Sometimes you can even use freezing point in order to separate substances if they freeze at different temperatures. Your turn to determine whether each of the following is a pure substance or mixture. Once you have decided, then classify it further. Pause the video to make your determination. If we look at our first example, we have two different unattached molecules. So our pink yellow, this could be considered a molecule or a compound because they are different types of atoms attached to each other. The blue would be classified as an element and a molecule. Because there are two different substances, this is a mixture. And so we would have to look and see how uniformly they are mixed. They're mixed fairly uniformly. And so this would be a homogeneous mixture. Let's look at our next example. We have red and we have green atoms. So these are going to be the red and the green are going to be classified as elements. They are uniformly mixed together. So this would be a mixture. A homogeneous mixture. Our next example, two of the same atom attached to each other. So this would be an element or a molecule because there is only one type in our example. This would be a pure substance. Our next example, we have compound. The compound is the same throughout the entire sample. So this would be a pure compound. Our next example, we have the same thing throughout. So it is going to be pure. And this would be a compound or a molecule. Our last example could have been a compound or a molecule as well. Finally, our green, they are not attached to each other. They are individual atoms. So this would be a pure element. Determine these examples as well, classify them. If they're a mixture or a pure substance, classify them further. Pause the video, make your determinations. An aluminum can is made out of just aluminum. So this would be a pure element. Lemonade 
contains many different substances. This would be a mixture. It's got sugar and water. If it's homogeneous or heterogeneous, again, that depends on ice or lemons, if you put lemons in. If it was just the lemonade, it would be homogeneous. If you had other, other things included like ice or lemons, then it would be heterogeneous. Diamond is pure carbon. Pure carbon atoms. So this would be an element. Muddy water. We've got the mud, the soil, and the water. So this would be a mixture. And most likely this is heterogeneous. Air in this room. So this is a mixture. It contains nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, some argon. So it is a mixture and this would be homogeneous mixture, evenly distributed throughout the room. Breath you exhale. This is also a mixture. It is comprised of nitrogen and carbon dioxide mostly. And it's evenly distributed, so it would be a homogeneous mixture. Table salt, also known as sodium chloride. This is a pure compound. It's the sodium chloride repeated over and over. Tap water. It might sound like a pure substance, but tap water is actually a mixture because it contains lots of dissolved compound, dissolved things in the water. So this would be a homogeneous mixture. What are some other substances that you know of? Are they homogeneous or heterogeneous? There's lots of things around you every day and you probably don't think about it, but there are. Um, things like um, butter, okay? Butter would be a mixture. Milk is a heterogeneous mixture because it's got fat globules and water also.